To solve the problem with how normal car blinds take up space in the car and the time it takes to put them up, we are making a device that is placed on a dashboard that aims to provide convenient shading. For a project, we want automatic blinds. This will keep the sun out and keep it from being too hot. We want the blinds to go up when the car is stationary and when it detects sunlight. The importance of car blinds. There are multiple reports of children and animals locked in cars being harmed due to the heat. Even though car blinds are not an absolute solution to that problem, they can still make a significant enough difference. It is reported that shading options in a car can reduce the temperature by about 27 through 28 percent. Methods Using motors and microcontrollers will signal the blinds to shade the car. Using accelerometers, we can detect when the user opens slash closes the door and if the engine is on. This can show us when the user is not in the car and if the engine of the car is running, therefore letting the device know when it is the appropriate time to close the blinds. Using light sensors, the device will know when it is appropriate to put up the blinds. Physical button on the device to extend slash retract the blinds. For the mechanical design side, their modules are extension of blinds, mounting mechanisms, enclosure, and choice of material. And for the electrical design side, the modules are choices of motor, controller, and sensors. Here is a diagram that shows how we are splitting up the modules, being the two main modules being sensors and power. Sensor modules. Each module will output a logic value when the probed system is active. The logic module will use the sensor module outputs to determine when to drive the motor unit. Stages of testing and implementing for the accelerometer. First, we will test the accelerometer by using the Arduino. Amino. After testing the Arduino, we will transfer over to the Atmega 328PB. With all the testing stages completed, we will transfer over to the PCB. Accelerometer hardware. We are using the EDXL337. X, Y, Z out are all analog signals. To correctly filter the correct frequency that is desired, we will be using capacitors. To get 100 Hz, we will need to connect X, Y, Z out with 0.05 microfarad capacitors. We need to process the data to detect vibration within the chip's output. Auxiliary power detection. The auxiliary power outlet is an indicator of when the vehicle has been turned on. This module will be in parallel to the power modules. The simplest method to output a logic high of 5 volts is to use a voltage regulator alongside the 12 volt output of the aux power. Sunlight detection. This sensor seems to output an analog signal based on the optical intensity. The threshold will need to be established for when the module with output is in logical high. An op-amp may be used to amplify the signal and reach 5 volts for our desired threshold. A voltage regulator may be used to truncate this output if the intensity is higher. And is logic for automatic extension and retraction of blinds. Accounting for all human activity that can be seen as valid inputs for the accelerometer. Concave nature of the windshield. Must not encroach on driver's sight. Keeping the blinds up. And powering. Solutions. Observing human activity in a car so we can account for all the variables the device will have to deal with. Intercepting an electrical signal from the car. Example. Headlights and ignition. To address the concave windshield, we will be splitting this into two modules. Mounting on dashboard will mitigate obstruction to the driver's side. Power may be supplied by cigarette lighter outlet of the vehicle. A rechargeable battery may also be used. 